What's going on, muchachos? Good morning. It is 7.50 a.m. I just got back from dropping off Alondra at school. And I know I didn't vlog yesterday. I Well, I haven't announced it yet, but, but obviously by the time this video goes up, I'm going to announce it and let you guys know that I did not vlog. So sorry that there was no vlog yesterday. It's just we were being lazy. Like, Edom literally worked all day. And me and my mother-in-law and Alondra were just being kind of lazy just chilling at the house watching hgtv fixer upper like we weren't doing anything so it was just a nice relaxing day and i mean everyone deserves a day off and honestly with youtube since i do upload every day i am literally working even though it's not like a typical like job but i am working i'm like literally doing work every single day so it was honestly really nice to like not have to pick up the camera and then right now today it's nice that i don't have to like edit so it feels kind of like it's going to be two days off so it's a nice way just to kind of like ah uh, refresh and just chill out so anyways honestly i don't really know what's going to happen well we were thinking about taking our jewelry we have to take it to like jared's to get like it's six month inspection cleaning thing so we're thinking about doing that today but honestly other than that i really don't know what's going to happen i do need to call more pest control people well, one other pest control person and I was going to look into paint, um, like getting quotes for painters and things like that. So I might do that today because I honestly, I didn't even do that yesterday. And I was like, was my plan yesterday. But like I said, it was just a nice, lazy, relaxing day. We are leaving Jared's jewelry store. Um, we had to do like our six month inspection on all of our jewelry. So like my ring, his ring, my earrings that I don't wear because they are, the post is silver. And Edam is like thought that it was white gold. It was, well, no, white and rose gold, right? Yeah. So when they told me that, I thought that's what they said, but they meant the actual heart is gold. gold. Yeah, rose but gold, the that's gold. that's gold. But the post that goes in your ear is silver, and I am allergic to silver. So they're a wedding gift. Like he got them for me for our wedding. So I'm never going to get rid of them, even though I can't wear them which really sucks because they are beautiful but I hope that maybe one day like no like one day I do plan on passing them down to Alondra I just hope she is not allergic to silver but honestly as sensitive as her ears are like she yeah I can't even I can't put anything in her ears like she breaks out immediately her ears do so I don't even put earrings in her ear anymore um the holes I think are probably closed up anyways now so Anyways, I just went on a tangent, but we basically left the house, finally. Um, I let Edom sleep in because he was exhausted and he really, really, really needed to sleep in. So then finally when he woke up, showered, we are like, let's take care of our jewelry because we know next month is gonna be nuts and if we don't do it every six months, then we lose our warranty and we don't want that to happen. So we did that and now, I don't, where are we going? Are we going to meet up with your mom? No. We're just gonna go home? No, oh, okay. Well, we can meet so, up, I'm, I'm, again, you don't want to go to the thrift store. I don't care. I don't know what the plan is. Um, I, it's a I don't know. It's a dollar for any size. I actually, I really do want a Coke. Yeah, Let's go get a Coke. I think I do too. I'm like, honestly, I haven't picked up the camera a lot at all to vlog. Obviously, this is only the second time of me vlogging. And I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I think I said this earlier today too. Like, I just honestly... But for real, honestly, nothing happened yesterday. I literally was in sweats all day and I just chilled on the couch and literally did nothing. My mother and I, blah, 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 my mother in law and I basically watch a lot of HGTV. Um, <laughs> what? You guys watch a lot of Basically, fixer yeah, that's all we did was watch Fixer Upper. That's all you want. And then, yeah, just a Coke. I know you guys, I'm drinking Coke again. Bad girl. Bad, Brittany. Bad. But honestly, I just feel like my head is kind of spinning and I can, um, I can feel like anxiety coming on and I can feel stress coming on. And it's, I don't know, it's so funny. I told you I'm like, just not yesterday, but the day before. So when was that, Sunday? No, Monday. Yeah, it was Columbus Day, I think. So on Monday, I was so excited, so pumped, so just like, I don't know, just feeling good, like very excited about the house and everything, going to meet the painter. I was like on literally cloud nine. And then I feel like we just got punched in the gut with that quote because, I mean, I know painting is gonna be expensive. I've said that in that vlog, but 
I just didn't like I thought he was gonna like since he was doing this like on the side as like a side hustle for himself I thought he was gonna like give us a good price but no it was like an expensive ass price didn't even include the price of the ceilings and we had to buy the paint and the tape and the plastic and all this other stuff so I don't know so I don't know I mean and it's not the end of the world. It's really not the end of the world if we don't pay the house, but it's kind of like stressing me out because I really want it done. And yes, I could live with the color of the wall. Like it does, does it have to be gray? No, but the paint is not a good quality paint. It's a flat mat and it cannot be like washed or anything like that. So that's the thing for me that like bothers me the most. If it was a really good quality paint, I would like just let it go. Like. Yeah, I don't want to spend the money, but at the same time, like, I know, like, in the long run, it would drive me nuts. It's going to be awkward. Someone's walking by, and I'm holding the camera in my face. He's staring at me. Awkward. And he's still looking. <laughs> also, too, and I wasn't even going to mention it, but I guess I might as well, since I'm just, like, venting to you guys. When we went to the house on Saturday with his mom, so actually, I didn't, wait, no. Was it Sunday? It was Sunday we went to the house with his mom. I didn't vlog that day. I took pictures. I'll insert pictures. But we noticed something with wall. Actually, we didn't even notice it. His mom noticed it and pointed it out. Like, with literally within, like, five minutes of being in the house, his mom pointed it out. And I didn't see it at first, but then I saw it. And now I can't help but see it. And it's driving me nuts. And so, Edom is like, oh, no, 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 no. They better. Oh, my God. That is a big daddy. Look at this coat. Oh, my Lanta. Keeps on popping out. Yeah, the lid doesn't look too good. Oh, another guy staring at us. Awesome. Camera in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. Let me get a sip. Oh my, come to mama. Mm. That's so good. So as I was saying, his mom found the spot on the wall and Iram was like, I'm not going to buy the house if they don't fix it. And so of course that like freaked me out and it's like, what do you mean we're not going to buy the house? But also at the same time with the wall, we do want to fix. Like something, it's like a dip or... They didn't put drywall properly or I don't know something so honestly that's been like kind of stressing me out because it's like what if they say no we're not fixing it Iram is saying he doesn't want the house like that which I totally get but then we already said we're not gonna renew our lease at the apartment so then we we're gonna have to move regardless and then find a new apartment honestly I'm no, just feeling like I'm feeling like you said, I don't want the house if, well, that's and you the want thing. our earnest money back. That's what you said. Yeah, threaten them with that. See if they'll fucking fix it. Well, yeah. So, but Yama's you know, like, oh no, they are gonna fix it. They, so, it's, it's a, are you gonna buy a car with a debt? No. Exactly. Yeah, I know, I, I know, I know, I know. But like, I guess I'm just like thinking like the worst outcome. So, I don't know. I guess basically I'm just stressing myself out. And obviously, I don't want that dip or dent or whatever that is. I don't want that either. But it's just like, ugh. So I wasn't gonna, we were actually gonna wait till home orientation to say anything when we have Did to pick out a problem. To that? He just said, I'm gonna have the builder call you. So basically, he's pushing it off onto the builder. So the, the like seller, so like the in between guy between us and the builder, he sent me a text message of pictures of the house and was like, Sorry, I haven't been in touch. Um, I don't know. Here's the progress with your house. I don't know if you guys have been by, but it's, it's coming along really well. You know, my communication hasn't been good, but I don't know. It's like, it was a pretty lengthy text. And I was going to be like, okay, yeah. But I was like, you know what? No, this is kind of like BS that like you are the seller and it's supposed to be like, and also, too, he keeps mentioning a survey. Like, as soon as oh, we no, close. Oh, no, they're getting fucking horrible reviews. Yeah, he keeps mentioning That's this damn. You know where the mistake was for him? What? We depend on that to get our freaking uh, bonuses, bonuses or something. Yeah. yeah. No, dude. Bye. So he's mentioned this survey several times. So many times. Saying like, you know, you will get a survey once you close. It's going to be on me and it's going to be on this. And so please give us tens because if we don't get tens, then blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if there's an issue, tell us beforehand. So... You know, that way we can fix it so you give us a 10. And so he keeps saying this over and over and over again. It's, it's honestly kind of annoying and it's kind of weird. Like, don't tell me what survey to give you. So, anyways, um, I was like, you know what? Like, F it. Like, I'm just going to tell him. Because, like, why wait? Because also, too, what if we wait to tell them to hormone rotation and they say, number one, it's too late to fix it. Or number two, it's going to delay us moving. 
I don't want it to like delay and then we're gonna have to like extend for like a week or something into I don't know you know what I, mean? I don't know if that makes sense anyways so I was like actually yeah we were just at the house last night we go like every week to check on the house we know the update because I was kind of like irritated I was like and, oh and he also said too like has the builder reached out to you yet because like I guess the builder is supposed to like I don't know why reach out to us but supposed to and I'm like nope have never heard from him like I don't even know who he is and I was like, and by the way, when we were at the house, we noticed issues with the wall and there's a dip and that needs to get fixed. I was like, you know, we were gonna wait to say something to home orientation. And then he goes, I'll just literally a one liner. I'll have the builder contact you. Like that was it. But um, that was like at 3.30 yesterday, I think 3.34. So haven't heard anything yesterday and it's now 3.30. Actually, that's funny. I said 3.34 or four and it's 3.34 right now. Anyways, so still haven't heard from them so i don't know it's honestly like kind of like an annoying situation all right i'm done rambling i'm done complaining i'm not going to anymore i'm gonna zip it no more complaining but um anyways yeah thank you everyone for coming to this therapy session <laughs> it is the next day you guys and i am so sorry like i don't know i just feel really bad with like the vlogs i know you guys are always super like understanding and you guys are like, if I ever like miss a vlog or don't do one, you guys are like super cool about it. But I just, I still feel bad. Like I feel like I am letting you guys down because I know you guys, or there's some of you that you know that do look forward to watching them. I know at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, um, yeah, I honestly even debated about putting this video up because it's literally just two clips and then now I'm gonna end the vlog. But I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just put it up anyways. I mean, and just, you know that way i'm also being transparent and just share with you but i'm trying to like not let that whole like wall thing and just everything affect me but mentally it really is it's stressing me out it's giving me anxiety as you guys know i have anxiety um and yeah i don't know it's just like it's just i don't know you know keeps telling me like don't worry about it like it's gonna get done and if it doesn't get done well then it is what it is but he's like they're gonna fix it they have to fix it but I still get like nervous because I'm just like, but what if they don't? What if they don't, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, I'm trying to not let it affect me, but it's really hard um, because you know, you're so excited for something and then it just feels like a punch to the gut kind of in a way. So now honestly, I'm just kind of like whatever about the paint. I just care more about the wall, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys understand. I'm sure you guys understand, um, maybe not, but I don't know. It's just, I'm just trying to like work through it and just, I'm trying to think positive, 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 positive. They will fix it, they will fix it. Positivity, I'm gonna put it into the universe. I'm like trying to force myself, but sometimes it's hard. So anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm still rambling. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog today, I'm gonna force myself to. Anyways, um, yeah, okay, bye muchachos. Oh,